there's laser treat over polyneidal cyst. A lot of doctors out there hear laser and think of laser hair removal. This is not that. It's a specific laser probe that goes under the skin and burns the capsule that doesn't permit these cysts from healing. And it does exist uh, and it works exceedingly well. It's often asked and I've had patients say, I wanna guarantee this will come back. I can't guarantee that. There are no 100% in medicine, even in my hands. No, even in any good surgeons, the world-renowned surgeons, things happen. The data on, pilot, on laser surgery for polyneidal cysts is very clear. There's a lot of it out of Europe. 92 to 92% cure rates. That means for every 100 people we treat, there will be seven or eight that need to get an additional treatment. One of the questions we get is, can you actually remove a cyst by laser? What we're doing with the laser is ablating the cyst. We clean out what's inside underneath the tissue and then ablate the cyst cavity so that the body can then heal uh, like it wasn't able to before. Because polyneidal cysts are chronic diseases, there's a cyst that basically, a cyst wall that's a fibrous capsule that the body builds to protect itself but prevents healing. And the laser ablates that capsule so that the body can then finally heal through it. So recovery time for, if we do the laser treatment, it's expect about a four to five out of 10 pain for four or five days. I don't give any time off that people say, what should I not do? I say, whatever you're comfortable with, do it. There are no restrictions. So if you wanted to ride a Harley the next day, you can. Had a golfer play 18 holes the next day. Had a volleyball player play a full game two days later. Whatever you're comfortable with, you can do based on that pain. For most people, by about four or five days, the pain really starts to rapidly wear off. It will put out fluid from the treatment site. That is the healing fluid for about two, three weeks. And then typically between the first and second month on average, some again, I've had people less, I've had a few people more. Uh, but about one to two months, the whole area will heal. And then it's typically gonna be about a little itchy in that area as it continues to heal beneath the surface for a few months thereafter. The truth is, since I started doing these treatments in around, I have to look, 2014, 15, we always did under general anesthesia till recently. And I had this hunch for a long time that there was a way to shift this into the office and do it where patients would be comfortable and tolerate it. Because the procedure in of itself is very, it is invasive, but minimally so. When we talk about minimally invasive surgeries, this is kind of what that is. And worked on that theory for a while uh, and in 2022, I had somebody who was committed to having a treat in the office, knew that I had this idea, and he said, let's do it together. I'm all for it. And so we gave it a go together, and he did great. He said he basically didn't feel much, and rapidly started then doing it more and more. And it's basically my paradigm now. I treat this in the office, and everyone does fine. Still going to feel a little. It's not zero, uh, but it's, everyone says it's very tolerable and essentially a nothing burger. In terms of success rate, one of the questions is, well, how successful is it, okay? 100% doesn't exist in anything. Even appendectomies that people go and die in a dozen, things happen. So I say this for you to understand because I've had patients call and say, guarantee me 100%, and I said no. And I also actually refuse to do a treatment until they understand this concept. The studies are showing, when we say percentages, it means out of 100 patients on a statistical scale, what are people gonna get? So for the laser, that there's a study out of Chicago that looked at it and they reported an 82% success rate. Out of Europe, they're reporting it under a, a tool called Silas, which is the same essential thing. I, I have a different way we do it here, but ultimately they showed a 92, 93% success rate, which is what we've been witnessing in our own office. There's a number of reasons people choose. So one of the questions we get a lot is, well, why laser? versus the flap. Flap is the gold standard, it is. It's the gold standard. And what I'm doing is essentially alternative because no one else in the US is really doing it right now. One, it's alternative 100%, but not because I just made something up. I treat, I did flaps exclusively for over a decade and really kind of evolved my own practice for what I was seeing during that time. And I was a high volume pilot idol physician. I still am, I'm a high volume pilot idol physician for the Los Angeles area. I don't wanna say the most because who knows, but it feels like that to me.